everybody, Peter here, and I'm back! Yes, I've been away for a month. I have been to India, South India to be exact, and I covered quite a bit of ground and saw some amazing stuff in that incredible country of great contrasts and great challenges, but also great rewards. Um, it was a fantastic trip. Unfortunately, of course, when you go to India, the chances are that you might get sick, and I did get sick several times. A couple of bouts of uh, food poisoning and one bout of terrible flu that kept me bedridden for a couple of days. But apart from that, because we'd allowed a lot of time and we had a month in the country, uh, there was plenty of time to see fantastic stuff. Started up in uh, Mumbai, uh, previously known as Bombay, went down to Goa, went across to Hampi, which was an amazing place. There's the ruins there of the Vijayanagara uh, civilization, which was basically the, the core of an empire that controlled southern India in the 13th to 16th centuries. And there are some incredible ruins there. It's, it's over a huge area. There are ruined temples, ruined palaces, ruined streets. It's an astonishing place that I didn't know anything about. It was absolutely fascinating. Saw some other places around that area as well, and then headed up to Hyderabad and uh, down to Chennai. And then as we went down the um, eastern part of uh, India through Tamil Nadu, the state of Tamil Nadu, we saw lots and lots of temples and interesting places. And then finally down to Madurai, and then we flew back up to Bengaluru, previously known as Bangalore, and home. And uh, wow, what a trip. Now, when you're away for a long time, of course, you start thinking about what you've been doing with your life and all the rest of it. You have time to get away from the demands of uh, work and just the habit of day to day. So you have a good old think about stuff. And of course, I thought about the esoteric order of gamers and how much of my time it's taken up in the last uh, 10 years, more than 10 years really, because I was making rule summaries for a long time before that as well. Now don't panic! I'm not going to stop the esoteric order of gamers. What I thought about though is putting my energies towards things that are more important and putting less energy towards things that are not as important. So with this video I just thought I'd have a little chat um, and I suppose this is directed more to long-term fans of the esoteric order of gamers um, and just to talk about what I've done in the past and what I'm going to do in the future. Now, one thing that struck me about India this time around, I actually went to India 25 years ago. Uh, I was mostly in the north during that trip. So it was interesting to see the changes that have happened during that time. And one of the big changes, of course, is that in India, like everywhere else in the world, everybody is staring at their phones all of the time. And it's kind of, well, every time I go overseas, I find it a little bit shocking because of course it's happening where you're living and you see it all the time. But when you go overseas and see so many more people uh, looking at their phones all the time. I always find it a, a little bit sad. I just think that we've lost something because we're all staring at social media or, or YouTube or whatever all of the time. Now, of course, the esoteric world of gamers is part of that problem. I'm a YouTube channel and the only way you keep track of me is, is online, of course. But I do feel that, especially in the realm of social media, that all of us spend far too much time checking social media and basically reading and looking at a lot of stuff that is a lot of garbage. <laughs> and I certainly spend a hell of a lot of time on social media, not only giving you updates for what I've been doing with the website, but also having conversations with people, answering questions, engaging in discussions, all that kind of thing. Now, I love the fact that I've got an audience for the Esoteric Order of Gamers. It's taken me a long time to build it up, and I've met some very, very nice people through it. But the thing that's changed is that there are so many social media channels now, and to keep track of all of them takes huge amounts of time. So basically, every time I make a rule summary or post a video, I have to post an update to t Twitter. I know it's called X now, but I hate that, so I'm just going to keep calling it Twitter. Facebook. Um, Mastodon, uh, Blue Sky, Threads, my Patreon channel, the Discord channel, and of course there's a complete page post with special writing blurb with it on my website. So that's eight places. I don't think I've missed any. Is that eight? <laughs> Every single time I do an update, it's sort of got a little bit crazy. So what I'm going to do is 
try and be less engaged on social media in the future. I will still be posting updates to all those channels, but um, they will be just sort of generic updates to tell you what's going on. If you want to engage with me and other members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers, other fans of the EOG, the best place is the Discord channel. Now, the Discord channel is very easy to sign up to. Just go to, along to my uh, website, orderofgamers.com, and click the link that you'll see there. Discord is a great place to chat, um, and it's very easy to just sort of go into that one place and talk. And there are various uh, rooms or threads that you can go to and talk about different things, like if you're just interested in miniatures or board games or whatever. And it's a community there, and it's a community in one place. Now, trying to maintain a community on all of those other places is just really, really difficult. Now, I should point out, of course, is that Patreon is a separate thing. If you're a member of the Esoteric Order of Gamers on Patreon, in other words, if you've signed up and are giving me money every month to support the channel, then, of course, we can discuss things there anytime you want. And, of course, I do special videos for that channel, and there's a certain amount of community engagement there, of course. However, when it comes to sort of Twitter and Facebook and all those places, um, I'm still going to post, but I'm just going to spend less time on them. Anyway, that was just something I thought about as I was traveling about, is this crazy amount of time that we spent on social media. And I really encourage you to take a break from social media now and again. I really think that it's, you know, the people who are really benefiting from us all looking at social media all the time are the social media companies. When it comes down to it, they're just selling advertising, and that's what they want to do. And I just feel that when I look at things like uh, Twitter these days and Facebook, there is such a huge percentage of garbage to a tiny percentage of genuine engagement. Anyway, that's just my opinion. The other thing I thought about was the original goals of the Esoteric Order of Gamers and how important they are to me and how in a way that they haven't changed over the years. I started this channel because I wanted to get my rule summaries out to people, but also because I wanted to make videos and talk about things that were important to me as a gamer and my style of gaming. So, as I said from the start, I love really imaginative, immersive games. Games that really suck you into their world and where you can forget the rest of the world and just have great time with people across the table. And they're still the most important games to me. So they're the ones I want to concentrate on, and that doesn't necessarily mean pandering to the cult of the new. I think in the games world, there's a huge obsession with the latest game and the latest new thing that everyone's excited about. And, you know, personally, that doesn't always excite me. I think there are fantastic games to be played that are old, um, even really, really old ones that are still really, really good. I love exploring all, all of those, and I love coming back to them after a long time and rediscovering them and all they have to offer. So this channel... Well, it's never been really, but it's not going to turn into anything which definitely keeps up with the latest stuff all the time. What you're always going to find here is my personal eclectic take on the world of gaming and really what a lifetime devoted to gaming is like. So sometimes you're going to see those big tabletop miniatures games with lots of terrain and painted miniatures and that real cinematic feel, which is great. Other times you're going to see me getting excited about a board game, which is... 30 years old. Other times you're going to see me cover something that's brand new that I'm really excited about. This is not a news channel about the latest stuff. This is a channel devoted to the joy of tabletop gaming. And that links back to what I said about social media. I don't want to pander to social media and always try and get my numbers up and always make sure I've got the latest thing that I'm talking about and everything because that gets the most hits and all that stuff. I'm not interested in all that stuff. I'm interested in games and how fun they are. The problem is, of course, is that in this world, you get rewarded for social media numbers. When publishers look to you uh, to decide whether they want to send you a game that you can review and everything, they look at how many social media numbers you've got in the various channels and all the rest of it. And it's really frustrating because it makes everyone kind of the same, in my opinion, because they do the same things and they follow the stuff that rewards the algorithm that gets more hits on YouTube and all that kind of stuff. I mean, the truth is, is that I get more hits for Games Workshop videos than I do for any other, because Games Workshop is really, really popular out there and a lot of people love it. But I don't want to be a Games Workshop channel. That's just one part of the rich tapestry of gaming that's out there. I'm still going to cover those games and, you know, they're going to send me stuff and I'm going to tell you about it. That's cool. 
but I really want to do a wide range of stuff and that if that means covering games that only get a few hits on YouTube, so be it. I find it interesting and I'm willing to bet that you'll find it interesting as well. So if you've found lately oh, that there's a little bit too much emphasis on Games Workshop or Tabletop Ninjas games in general, don't worry, I'm going to make sure that I cover a wide range of stuff. Finally, I've been talking a lot about an announcement that I'm going to make when I get back. I'm not quite ready to do it yet because I want to make sure everything's teed up before I make the final announcement, but it is coming and it is something that's going to make me concentrate more on my original uh, aims for the esoteric order of gamers. I think you'll find it incredibly useful and interesting and exciting. I do, and I hope you do too. So just wait a little bit longer. That's coming very soon, and I'm putting all my energies towards it. Well, folks, that's just a, a little chat, a little rundown of my thoughts uh, about the esoteric order of gamers while I was away. And you can see while I was away, I grew this spectacular beard as well. I'm feeling like, you know, the grizzled sea captain who's going to discover the Northwest Passage. Uh, it gives me a lot of gravitas, don't you think? Well, unfortunately, it's going to get cut off. This weekend, it's going. Uh, it's a little bit itchy and, uh, you know, uh, I just don't think I can live with it. So it's coming off. If you enjoy it, uh, this is your last chance to enjoy it. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, everybody. I hope you're going to stick with the Esoteric Order of Gamers as we continue through this year. I'm still super excited about games. They're my life and they're not going to stop being my life. And I hope you've always enjoyed my personal take on gaming and will continue to do so in the future. See you in the next video. Bye for now and good gaming.